What's up guys, welcome back once again to the reviews. Today I've got a fan review. This is another product from Iceberg Thermal. So massive thank you to them for sending this over. They sent me over their three pack of iScale silent PWM case fans. Um, so we're gonna get these unboxed, uh, show you what they're about, show you the quality of them, um, how good they are, I'll talk about a bit of the specs, uh, and then we're gonna throw them into my system and do a little bit of testing. Um, today I was think, trying to think of the best way to test these, because um, obviously, what do I compare them against? Do I compare them against a fan that no one's that no one's really using that much, or do I compare them against a more sort of cheaper fan or anything like that? So I've decided I'm going to test them against my Arctic P12 PST fans that are in the bottom of my case. So I'm going to chuck these three in there in place of those, um, and I'm going to test GPU thermals and CPU thermals on Cinebench and Unigen Superposition just to give you an idea of how well these perform. And obviously we'll do some noise testing as well. See here, see how quiet these are, um, as they are rated quite quiet. So anyway, let's get these unboxed and uh, take a look. So these are the Iceberg iScale Silent PWM 120mm fans. Uh, they are meant for case fans, really. Um, so we're not going to do any static pressure testing today, but we'll take you through these. Uh, now, they do have these in variety. They have the iScale normal ones, they have the silent ones, uh, and they do have some RGB ones as well, which I'm hoping I can get to test at some point uh, following this review. Um, so let's have a quick talk about them. Uh, you get a 10-year warranty with these, which is really good, and they've got a maximum of 21.8 decibels, um, which is really low. Um, so I'll be interested to see actually how well they perform. And auto stop starts, so they can come to a complete stop to be to be silent um, if, your, if your CPU and everything isn't demanding any more cooling from them. Uh, so specifications, they are 120mm fans, standard 25mm thick. Their speed is 600 to 1600 RPM, um, which is kind of on the low side of us for some fans, um, but it's not, not too bad. Uh, airflow is 51 CFM. The Arctics I'm testing them against are rated around 55, and so it'll be interesting to see actually how different, uh, how much difference there is. Uh, and then the static pressure is 1.18. They aren't radiator fans, um, but they would work all right. And other than that, they're a sleeve bearing, and they're four pin PWM and up to 30,000 hours. So let's have a look inside. Now, as I did mention, I've got a three pack. Obviously, I'm not going to show you all three because they're all the same. Um, so I was going to show you over the uh, individual fans. Um, now, in terms of the feel of them, they aren't particularly heavy, but they're not the lightest things I've ever felt. They don't, they don't feel flimsy. Um, there's a tiny bit of hub wobble in them, um, but obviously nothing, nothing too bad at all. Uh, we've got anti-vibration mounts in all the corners on both sides, and they are in sort of a teal blue kind of colour, um, which is sort of Iceberg Thermal's theme colour. Um, so they're not going to use everyone's taste. Uh, they might stand out a bit in your case if you're going for like an all-black build or something like that, um, but they do obviously come in that colour. Uh, they don't believe they come in any other colour, so you don't get them in like, a full black or anything like that. Um, we've got seven fans on these, uh, seven fan blades, should I say. Um, so... Yeah, standard, pretty pretty much standard uh, case fan, really, and obviously the cage on the back. There's not really much more to talk about in that. They feel solid. They feel really solidly built. Um, no problem with those at all. And then we've got a nice braided cable um, with a four-pin PWM connection. So that's all there really is to show you on this. Um, that's all you get in the box. Yeah, that's all you get in the box. You don't get any cables for any splitter cables or anything like that to attach them all to the same, and you can't daisy chain these. Um, so that's something to bear in mind with these. Um, so let's get them installed and uh, see how they perform. Right, so we've got the uh, fans installed. Um, I quite like the blue colour, um, but it's obviously not going to be to everyone's taste. Um, but obviously, mainly you're going to want to know about the performance of them. And yes, they perform pretty well, to be fair. I'm quite impressed with them. Um, Obviously, it's hard for me to show you uh, the, where, how they stack against every other fan. Um, so I've just tested them against the Arctic P12 PSTs, uh, which are a reasonably priced fan. Um, these, uh, I believe, are probably a little bit more expensive. Um, there don't seem to be many in the UK available, but what I've found is around £40-£45 pounds for a pack of three. Um, so they're not, they're, they're not really cheap, um, but they're not the most expensive fans out there. Um, they might be a bit cheaper in America. Um, so let's talk about the performance. Um, first of all, we'll go into the thermal performance. So I tested Cinebench uh, multi-core for five minutes, and I also tested Unigen Superposition at 1080p extreme uh, and high, so basically the highest 1080p settings um, to put a lot of load onto the GPU. 
Um, the GPU is probably going to be the temperature I'm most concerned about here because the fans are right underneath where the GPU is. Um, the CPU is probably going to be possibly going to be affected by other stuff. So, um, and maybe heat coming off the GPU itself. So, it's not might not be quite as accurate. Um, so let's talk about the results first. We'll talk about Cinebench. So this is going to be CPU temperatures. Um, we had an ambient pretty much throughout this test of 20 degrees, um, give or take 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a degree. Um, so on Cinebench for the P12s, we've got a maximum of 72 degrees and an average of 71. Because um, I basically, <laughs> it ran around 72 for pretty much the whole test. Um, and then for these fans, these I-scale fans, we've got a maximum of 73 and an average of 71. So up by degree, probably within margin of error, to be honest with you. Um, but a degree is nothing, really. Um, so, yeah, decent result. Not a problem at all. Um, but obviously, like I say, these aren't going to be directly impacting the... Uh, as much going to be impacting the CPU temperatures. So let's move on to the GPU temperatures. Again, 20 degrees ambient in this room at the time. Uh, run at super super position, just one run through um, at 1080p extreme um, settings. And on the P12 PSTs from Arctic, we've got an average of 63.9 and a maximum of 73.4. Now going to the iScale fans, which are rated quite a lot lower in terms of CFM, well, about 4 CFM lower. Um, we've got an average for those of 64.1 and a maximum of 73.1 so yes they are very very close um and could could you could argue it's margin of error again they're pretty much on par if not beating the arctics and like i say they are rated lower so you would expect them to probably be a little bit further off than this um however decent results again and like i say um not not bad at all so um, one thing I didn't mention was the idle temperatures um, before tests were run. Uh, CPU with the P12s in was 35 and the GPU was 36 and it was exactly the same. For these iScale fans, the, the te uh, idle temperatures were exactly the same. So now let's talk about, these are a, uh, called a silent fan, iScale silent PWM. Um, like I say, they can completely come to a stop as well, um, which is good. Uh, they're actually completely stopped at the moment because I've put my fan curve down to silent mode. So in terms of the noise of these fans, um, they're actually really, really good, really impressive. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with these for saying they're qu a little bit, a little bit quieter than the Arctics um, at a lower speed and a lower rating, um, but still performing basically as well. Then they've, they've done a good job with these fans. Um, so at fifty percent of maximum RPM um, on both fans. It was uh, the P12s were at 20 decibels and the I scales were at 19. Uh, at 75% of their rated RPM, the P12s are at 22 and the I scales are at 20. And then at 100%, which is what the tests were run at, the P12s are at 29 and the I scales are at 25. So the noise levels of these fans are absolutely excellent and they do state on the box. They do state on the box that it's a maximum of 21.8 decibels. Um, I got 25 at 100%, but this is obviously taken into account the rest of the noise within my system and within the in the area as well. Uh, there is other fans running in there. Um, I've turned them down as slow as I can, um, but some of them don't go completely to a stop, and obviously the pump's running on that AI out as well. Um, so 21, I can probably believe that in terms of the maximum decibel rating for these. And also, they're doing this whilst... At 1600 rpm obviously they're going to be quieter than the arctics because the arctics are running at 1800 rpm maximum and um, but the they're still cooling as well is what i'm trying to get at is they're they're silent they're running at a lower speed and they're cooling just as well if not better in some cir circumstances so they're absolutely great fans i really like them like i say i'm hoping to get hold of the rgb versions because i think they'll be a, a better sell for most people because most people are looking for rgb stuff these days there's rgb everywhere um so i think they will be a better sell to be honest with you um so like i say they're absolutely great fans i'm really impressed with them uh, and again thank you i uh, iceberg thermal for sending these over so that's my review guys um i hope this was informative um and if you were, were looking at these fans um they're not very well known so there probably isn't a, ma a, ma a massive amount of people looking for these um but if you are looking at these or you're interested in how these perform then obviously you can see from from my results they perform well
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to like it. If you didn't, uh, dislike it if you want to. Uh, leave me a comment if you've got any comments to say about it. If you have any experience yourself with these or any other of their products, then please let me know. And if you haven't already, then please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.